I've spent the past couple of hours trying out different AI photo colorizers and in this video I will show you my four favorite ones that actually work and produce good results for you. And by the way, if you want to try this, make sure to check the links in the description of the video. And also towards the end of the video, I will reveal my favorite one. As the first AI photo colorizer app on this list today, we have a tool called palette.fm. And this is an online piece of software, so you don't need to download anything. Just head over to this web page called palette.fm. You'll find a link to that in the description and then just drag and drop an image into the view. So just an example, here is an original image that I have. It's a black and white photo. And right now I will drop it into the view. And in just a couple of seconds, we're going to see a bunch of different colorized styles on it. So here's the image number one. This looks pretty decent to me if you ask me, but you actually have, because the name is palette, you have these palettes that you can actually use. So for example, we can pick nature's palette and it will give you this kind of version of the image. Then we can, for example, do bright essence and that will give you an output like this. And let's actually do one more. Let's do colorful past. Okay, that added quite a few colors to it, so this does look like that it has some kind of an extra filter on it, but still, any one of these images are super impressive to me because this looks so realistic and it looks exactly how it probably looked at the time when this image was taken. And just for the heck of it, let's try it with another image. So here is this kind of a lake in a forest, so let's drag and drop it into the view. And here is our photo. Let's try colorful past on this one because this one looks promising. Well, that's decent. Obviously, you have some distortion going on here where there are some trees, so you can clearly see some pixelation going on. But I can't blame it. This also looks super realistic, so it's crazy to imagine that the AI can actually colorize these photos in a this realistic fashion. So, especially if you look at the sky and uh, lake's surface this looks absolutely incredible to me then as a less obvious inclusion on the list today we have ChatGPT. so they just released a new image model which basically allows you to do what's called in painting that is you can edit your images using ai and right now let me show you how it works so for example we can drag and drop one of these images into the view and i can tell it to colorize this photo and then the AI starts working on it. And after about two minutes of waiting, here is our new photo that has all these colors in it. But as you can see, if you take a closer look, this is actually nothing like the original image. So we have more people here, and also the bird has changed. So here is a pigeon, and here it is going to be a crow. So if this is an image that you have taken in the past, and you have actually captured the moment, and the context matters, then I would definitely not do it like this. So now this new photo is no longer this original photo. But if you just want to use this for decoration, if you just find a good looking image, for example, on Unsplash or somewhere that you wish you had colors in, then you can use it here. So you can just tell ChatGPT to produce the colors. And obviously also, if it's a popular place like this, you can just use ChatGPT to generate an image like this with your description on it. Obviously, if the AI changes the original image too much while it's adding colors, you can tell it to create another image and make it look exactly like the original one. Let's try it actually. And let's wait for a couple of minutes for the AI to process it. And there we go. So actually it didn't change anything else except for that it made the lighting look like it was a morning instead of it being an evening. But the people are still far and few between one another, unlike on the original image where you have a lot of people. And also the pigeon in the original image is still a crow. And as you can actually see, there are some artifacts. So once you start to zoom into those people, you can see that there are some funky characteristics going on with every single one of these. So this is not that impressive yet, but the reason why I wanted to include it in the list is simply because this can be very applicable already. If you have a use case where it doesn't really matter if it's the original image or if, it's, if it has some slight modifications made by the AI, and also, this is the direction where we're heading at. So ChatGPT in a couple of years will probably be able to do this task very easily for you as well. So you don't need to pay for a separate application to do this. You can just use the same ChatGPT subscription to do everything cool like this. And then as the next AI colorizer, we have deepai.org. So just drag and drop an image into the view and here is your colorized photo. And by the way, just to compare, here is the original photo. So as you can see, it did 
quite a bit on it. It actually looks fantastic to my liking. So here it is interpreting this as being an evening and the colors are as such as well. So this is just wonderful. And this is also entirely free to use. Let's try it with another one. So this time I will colorize this mountainous image that has been taken during the daytime. And as you can see, what a wonderful result it produced me. Let's try the Eiffel Tower image as well. So this one right here is the original image and here is the colorized version. This is fantastic. Then another powerful AI image colorizer is called Canva. And I'm only listing this because I know it's such a popular tool. And if you happen to be using this one already to begin with, then it is good for you to know that here's also an image colorizer application that you can use to bring colors to your photos. So if you want to use this, just click on your image, then click on edit, then go to the app section here and choose colorize, then click on colorize and replace. And there is your colorized photo. Although one thing I must mention is that with these Canva apps, despite they are good, they are usually not the best. So I would only recommend you using this one if you need this for some basic use case, if this is not supposed to look perfect, and also if you already have a Canva plan and a Canva account. And out of these four tools, I would have to give the nod to palette.fm as my favorite AI colorizer. So this one has all these color palette options with which you can maximize the output. And also if you're willing to invest in it, you're going to get the highest quality results back. So that is my number one pick on the list. And you can find a link to that in the description.